All right, welcome back, everybody. We're outside in the kitchen and we are talking Italian and making authentic Italian. There's a brand new restaurant in Avondale that if you haven't heard of Josephine, you probably will very soon. Um, we have executive chef Zach Priest with us today. You know, apparently this is the spot to be. You can't get a reservation in there for a long time because you guys have just been packed. Yeah. Tell me about the concept of the restaurant and why you think it's so popular. Um, so we're doing modern Italian with an American twist. Uh, we're pretty traditional, but we like to put a modern twist on things. Tell me traditional because, you know, there's some viewers out there like thinking, okay, we got Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are, you know, up, very upscale. And what, what kind of flavors and ingredients do you use to kind of get that traditional feel? Uh, so we make all pasta in-house. We make all bread in-house. Uh, we make focaccia every day. Like, we even go on Christmas Day to make the bread for the next day. Really? So that's really important to us. Oh, I love that. So really, um, it's kind of that farm-to-table feel where it's really coming. It's being sourced. Absolutely. So what do you think is the most um, popular thing on the menu right now? Uh, probably the lasagna. The lasagna. Yeah. The traditional, plain old lasagna. It's but not... I bet when you make it, it's not plain. <laughs> we actually do a pinball lasagna. So oh. it's a little bit different from okay. the traditional lasagna. So you take the noodle and you spin it? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> that simple. I could probably do that. Not. <laughs> I've never been good at lasagna. Um, we have some pictures of inside as well. I mean, just a really beautiful concept to kind of go in. You feel like you're in another city is what I've heard. Absolutely. It's really, really well designed and yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's all about the experience, right? Yep. All right. So tell me what you are going to make for us today. Um, you know, maybe some people have never seen, you know, the squid ink pasta. Uh, what's the flavor there? Because it is, it's black. Yeah. So squid ink pasta, which we make in house. It's basically a modern twist on a traditional carbonara. Mm -hmm. we, um, we make octopus bacon, so we cure it the same way as we would pork. Okay. Octopus bacon? Yep. Okay. Octopus bacon. So it still has that little salty, is a yep. little crunchy or not really? Uh, not, crunchy, not crunchy, but we use like smoked salt okay. to give that sort of bacony flavor. All right, beautiful. So in-house pasta, you're not going to like boil the heck out of it, right? You're just no, going to give it, it a little... A little bit al dente. Okay. Want to get it started for us? Yep. Okay. Anytime my pasta's, you know, overcooked, it just takes away the whole feel. So you're not even, would you normally have this water boiling or give us that kind of idea? It's about, a little bit cold, so it hasn't it really is, come I up to the yeah, really. um, Al dente, just for viewers who are, are, are wondering, you know, that's, it's not undercooked, but it still has that bite, right? Exactly. I think that's quite traditional Italian to have a little bit of bite in your mm -hmm. pasta. Yeah, because anything else is just like mush in your mouth, right? right? <laughs> okay, so this is, this just is the, the... Just the bacon, so okay. we're just going to lightly caramelize that in the pan. It's already cooked, obviously, we braise it for five hours. Oh, okay. You braise it for five hours? Mm -hmm. You just yeah. stand there and braise it? No. No, just, <laughs> just goes in the pan. I was like, that is a lot of, that's time intensive. Okay. So we just want to get a little bit of color on that and sort of get that flavor through. Okay. Oh, it smells delicious. Yeah. And this is going to, and this typically has kind of a chewy flavor or what would uh, you not say? Not really. It's, no, it's okay. pretty tender and we get a little bit of crisp on it. Okay. Just to give that sort of bacon yeah. texture. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to let that. Was it already prepared or? It's already blanched. Normally okay. we took it to order, but I thought I'd be That's safe. That's okay. <laughs> this is order. This is right. my my order and Amanda I'll share with her as well. All right, so what are we gonna do next? Um, we're gonna put a little bit of the pasta water into here just to melt the cheese and cook the egg. Okay, so what's, this is? This is egg yolks, okay. parmesan, and then we're gonna put a little bit of fresh tarragon in. Beautiful. And this is another one of your favorites too, right? Yeah. At the restaurant? This is definitely one of my favorites. Okay. Now, with the squid ink pasta, what's, what's the flavoring on that? A uh, different. It's pretty subtle, honestly, but you do get a little bit of the, the squid ink in there. Okay. Is it... I've never had it before, so oh, what... Really? Yeah. Um, Let me oh, ask... You're going to try it. I'll try it. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the... Because I've been doing some, some kind of... Upper, I've been, I've been trying to step up my cooking game, I'll just say that. So with the pasta water, that has a little starch in it, and yep. it's going to help to thicken? It's just going to help bind it and thicken it. Okay, all right. So the pasta's never going to go in the pan. It's all going to be in the bowl. Together, okay. All right, here we go, Josephine. All right. <laughs> so you just want to melt the cheese and the eggs and slightly cook. Okay, all right. And then we're going to take that pasta. It's already been blanched, so now it's going to make it nice and warm. A little yep. more. Just trying to make a little sauce. Okay. And everything, as you said, made to order, so. Yep, absolutely. All right. 
So, you know, Avondale has such a feel to it. Are you from this area or did you move uh, here for the job? I did move here. You moved here. Where did you move you from? You from my accent. I'm from I, London. Oh, London. Okay. Did you li literally move from London to Jacksonville? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, welcome. Right. Well, I hope you have you fallen in love with Avondale and just that area over there. I have. Avondale is yeah. one of my favorite places. It's, it's a special space. All right. So, so we got a little let's... sauce going here. Okay. All right. And then and we're going to take our. just going to go in. Pasta. So you're going to combine all that in there. Yep. Okay. Mix it mix together. together. Very nice. Form of sauce. Is this a little bigger than one serving or what no, would you say? This is the same it. size we do at the restaurant. Okay. So we're just okay. going to let the pasta melt the rest of the cheese okay. and cook the egg a little bit so it all binds together. All right. There we go. All right. Super simple. All right, very nice. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, if this sounds appealing, or if you just want regular lasagna with a special twist, I can't even call it regular because it's right. definitely, you know, everything is different. Josephine, you guys are in Avondale. Thank you so much. And I will give that a taste in just a moment. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate thank you coming in and welcome to Jacksonville. All right, Amanda, I'm gonna save you some. I hope you do, it looks delicious.